Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. May he fill our hearts with peace and joy. Good morning. Welcome to this service of morning prayer for Thursday. As I mentioned on Tuesday, one of the really great, I don't want to repeat it too much, but uh, uh, just to reiterate that one of the joys of the Easter season is the number of passages from the Gospels, which we might call the post-resurrection Gospel accounts. That is, uh, events that take place between Jesus and his disciples following Easter Sunday, following his resurrection. On a number of occasions, uh, he appears to the disciples as the risen Lord. And we hear of these accounts, uh, particularly in the Gospels of Luke and John. There's something of it in Matthew as well. We hear some of them uh, on Sunday morning, but uh, not all of them. So I thought it might be beneficial in the morning prayer series if we just benefit from some of the accounts which uh, might otherwise not be heard this year, from uh, in particular from the Gospel of John on Tuesday, and then this morning from the Gospel of Luke. The passage which I'm going to read, uh, I'll say a bit more about when we come to that point in the service. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O Lord, set our hearts in fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning, Psalm 47, is one of the psalms appointed for the Easter season and really anticipates the ascension, which uh, comes close to the end of the season in the church year we call Easter. I'll be using the uh, translation from the Book of Common Prayer, the Coverdale version of the Bible. O clap your hands together, all ye peoples. O sing unto God with the voice of melody. For the Lord Most High is to be here. He is a great King over all the earth. He has subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, even the glorious land of Jacob, whom he loved. God is gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. O oh, sing praises, sing praises unto our God. O oh, sing praises, sing praises unto our King. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Gospel passage, which we're going to hear this morning, comes very close to the conclusion of Luke's Gospel, Luke's account of the resurrection and the appearance to the disciples of the Lord. Uh, one of the passages talks about the disciples uh, meeting Jesus on the road to Emmaus, a town that they were visiting, and how they recognized him and were brought with him at that point. And uh, this is uh, near the end of that particular passage from the 24th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke beginning at the 44th verse. And one of the phrases in this, there's always a sort of a phrase which catches our attention sometimes in a larger passage. And as Jesus talks to the disciples, uh, Luke says of it, he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. He opened their minds to understand the scriptures. I think that's a very good, uh, uh, kind of uh, theme statement maybe for clergy and other people who preach the gospel uh, in church on a regular basis. Our primary role in preaching is to open people's minds so that they can understand the scriptures. And with that remark, uh, Jesus commissions his disciples to go forth. Jesus said to his disciples, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms should be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, 
Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee, O Christ. We hear now as our first prayer the collect appointed for the season of Easter, not just for Easter Sunday, but for the entire Easter season. Let us pray. O God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the resurrection from the dead of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that we who celebrate this Paschal feast may die daily to sin and live with him evermore in the glory of his endless life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your wings in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful. Lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.